It's not about motivation. When is new discipline? Wake up and win today. <laughs> discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Box Raw with the hype. Man himself, Deb the hype. Sonny. Yes, good to see you, my friend. Uh, guess what? British boxing has a new star. His name is Hamza Shiraz. He can knock people out with jabs. He hits very, very hard. He's 19 and 0, 15 knockouts. He's knocked out 13 in a row. He's done something tonight to Liam Williams that no one's ever done. Congratulations, Hamza Shiraz, and congratulations to British boxing. We've got a new star. That's a really good introduction there. Um, we'll cover all aspects of his win. I saw uh, Frank refer to him as Tommy Hearns, but you know, I just spoke to Spencer Fiedron and he said, you know what, just because he's tall, it doesn't mean he's Tommy Hearns. He fights more like Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, look, I, I like that that comparison's being made as well. Great. Um, you know, link him to everyone. Muhammad Ali, <laughs> let's just keep it going. But look, I, I love the Tommy Hearns thing. I like the, uh, like the idea that he's... Ilford's answer to Thomas the Hitman Hearns and it's, it's just because look he's in that weight division he's a middleweight he's tall he hits hard with both hands and uh, I think people are now starting to buy into him and the thing that I've, I've been saying tonight is I'm not sure how many middleweights in the world start as a favorite against Hamza Shiraz I'm not sure there's that many I think we've got one of the very best middleweights in the world right now in this guy and he, he's like he did it on the road last time in Poland, unbeaten opponent in a stadium full of people booing him, and he just went and dealt with the fella in a couple of rounds. The jab again. Tonight, Liam Williams, he was game. Go, go and check his Instagram, go and check his training. He was game, he was up for this, he was ready. He came here with plenty of ambition. He just got dealt with. You know, um, we love Liam Williams. I love Liam Williams. This, this morning, this, this is strange, right? This morning, I had a message from him saying, Dev, I've been, I've been locked out of my Instagram. Can you help me get in? Now, this is the away fighter, but just because we used to work with him at Queensbury, like, he's, he just knows me as a guy who can help him with that stuff. So I helped him get back into his Instagram. So strange, but I, I love Liam. I think we'll always have a place in our hearts at Queensbury for him. But tonight, just too much. Hamza Shiraz is just too much. And just for clarity, uh, you're not available to help people with Instagram accounts. In case you get influx of people messaging you to help them out. Yeah, I mean, if yeah, definitely not, definitely not, unless you want to sponsor me, like like Hype have. I don't know if you want to do that. Yeah. Fair play. Um, I, mentioned it enough I think you definitely yeah, have. Leave, yeah. I, in fact, I think I need to be getting a cut out of the, <laughs> some, some of this. But I tell you what, um, let, let's cover the, because um, there's always naysayers and negative people, and people are going to be saying, Liam Williams was shot. He didn't have no punch resistance because some people were saying that in the build-up to this fight as well. However, the way he got dropped tonight was the same sort of way Chris Eubank Jr. dropped him, but Chris wasn't able to finish him off. Hamza's gone and done it within, what, two minutes? Chris was unable to finish him off. Look, Hamza said, look, Hamza's not like this guy that calls people out or slags people off. Hamza said, building up to this fight, if I have him like that, I'm not going to ferry around like Eubank did. And we've seen that tonight. He doesn't ferry around. He doesn't mess around. If he's got a guy hurt, he will finish that guy off. He can hurt you with a jab. He can hurt you with a right hand. He's got tremendous punch selection. And he's so calm and so composed and so cool. Um, for me, that looked like a good Liam Williams. People are acting like this some old man that we've pulled up off the sofa. 31 years old, coming off a first round knockout win. I know the opponent wasn't up to much, but still getting in there and showing you got that pop, you got that bang, you got that drive. That was a good Liam Williams. That was a better Hamza Shiraz. I was like seeing Matt, you know, going through all the box draw gear, you know what I mean? The more, more sponsorship stuff going off behind us. Um, Dev, uh, Anthony Yard looked absolutely amazing tonight, but I've got, I feel like we need to give credit to his opponent because yeah, the beating that he took, he could have stayed down after the first knockdown. He still would have got paid the same amount of money. But even after the third knockdown, he wanted more smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he really did. Like, I, I rate him. I think, I think Anthony Ard rates him as well. There were some good words of respect. I said to Tunde after, hey, look, that guy was pretty tough, wasn't he? And he said, yeah, apparently. Like, Tunde does all, his, all of his homework. Apparently, the guy used to spar against Sia Klotcher, who obviously, you know, was, was very good as an amateur and he's, he's boxed plenty of good guys. So he's, he wasn't no, no mug, but... Yeah, credit to him, but more credit, obviously, to Anthony Yard for landing the shots that he did and doing what he did in there tonight. Another demolition job. And look, there is clear intent for this Joshua Boazzi fight. Joshua Boazzi is here. This isn't some guy that we're just calling out that, like, oh, hopefully it gets done. He was here tonight. 
and he was sat in the front row and he came into the TNT Sports interview. They've been pictured together, they've done interviews together. Boatsy wants the fight, Yard wants the fight, the people around the fight want the fight, the fans want the fight. Surely we get the fight. Wasn't there talk of this whole Callum Smith, Anthony Yard, five versus five thing? Does that, does that go out the window for this? I don't, I don't know. It's, ultimately, it's going to come down to, to whatever Anthony Yard wants to do. Um, that's also a great fight. There's something special about this one. There's some, it's been brewing for about seven years and it feels like the time is right to do it. Because what if it just goes away? We don't want it to be one of those fights that gets lost and it feels like the right time. And by the way, it's not like... Anthony Yard, I don't think, starts as an overwhelming favourite in that fight. That's a very, very good fight where the public will be split as to who's going to win. Got a shout out the strength and depth in the Queensbury uh, stable. We saw Alois Jr. with a crazy, like, freakish knockout. And then Masood Abdullah really impressed me. He was a big favourite going into the fight. And most people picked him to win by a knockout, but he still went in and did it. And uh, he, looked, he looked great. Mate, he's such a physical featherweight uh, at times in there. Look, Cass Ashvac did have him going at one point as well, but Masood recovered very, very quickly. He's, he must be an absolute nightmare to fight because he doesn't leave you alone and he hurts you and he's digging away to the body. At times, he really beat Ashvac up and, you know, it was, it was, it was a corner stoppage in the end, wasn't it? They threw the towel in. It, it was a good, good decision. Um, I could see him hurting him early and then he just kept going after him and after him and uh, he discouraged Cass Ashvac in the end. But it's going to be difficult for uh, for anyone to fight him. A featherweight like that who won't leave you alone. Nick Ball, is it too early for him? It feels like, look, Nick Ball's got his business going on, right? Mm. Hopefully Nick Ball very soon becomes crowned the WBC World Featherweight Champion and then he can bring that belt back and guys like Masood will be looking going, ooh, how about that? Guys like Nathaniel Collins will be looking over going, ooh, how, how about that? So it's a great time for featherweights in this country and Masood Abdullah has sent out a message to the British featherweights, certainly. And a last word on Frank's stable. I remember about two years ago when the TNT deal started. Was it two years? It might have been a bit longer than that. But I remember when Frank started signing a lot of these guys, like people like Sam Noakes, you know, who were like 1 and 2 and 0, and loads of these guys. And now they're all kind of like uh, flourishing. That's yeah. the right word. And, and they're all like proper fighters now. And it's, it's see that that investment's paid off. Yeah, and Sam Noakes is a great example of that. Like, turned pro with us. He's been on these people. See you later, my friend. Thanks for the... <laughs> Matt Rich, our, our... Oh, man, Matt Rich. Um, yeah, look, 13 fights, 13 wins, 13 knockouts, 100% KO rate. Who's he going to go after next? Maybe even Arta Baturbiev. It seems like he's catching him up, right? He's only seven behind now, so uh, I think he's fantastic. He's from Maidstone, he's got hands of stone, and yeah, as you're saying, it's a great time because all these guys are coming through, and there's many more like that. Before long, you'll start seeing performances like that from Henry Turner, uh, Pierce O'Leary, Dennis McCann will come, and he, you know, he's going to do what he's going to do. Don't forget the guy, he's fighting Brad Strand. Brad Strand will have his own ideas about that as well. Royston Barney Smith, he will, he will have plenty to say. So much depth in the Queensbury stable right now. And just looking at like the front row tonight, you see down one end, Daniel DeBar was there, Joe Joyce was knocking about, David Adelaide was over there, and people want to be here as well. Adam Azim was knocking about, he went to see Hamza, I saw Joe Cordina there tonight, Jordan Thompson. It's the place to be. You want to come and see these big shows. Well, Dev, I appreciate it. And it's been a great show and a good night. Um, any last words? No, I, th I, th I just think British boxing's got a new star. His, his name is Hamza Shiraz, and uh, I'm not sure who beats him. Good times ahead. Thank you. Fear. Most people are governed by their habits, their fears, and their opinions of others.